So we're going to take a look at the Laplace transform of the nth derivative of y with respect to t, which we'll write as y with an n in parentheses. Now we can start out by taking a look at the integral definition. We have the integral from 0 to infinity of our f of t is the nth derivative of y, and then we multiply that by e to the negative st dt. If we want to figure out what this equals, we'll have to reduce this derivative down to 0. So let's use integration by parts for that with the di method. So to start out, we know we want to integrate the nth derivative of y, and then we're going to differentiate e to the negative st. So if we go down here plus minus plus minus, every time we integrate the nth derivative of y, we'll have one less ordered derivative. So yn, yn minus 1, yn minus 2. And then if we continue this process, all the way down to 0, eventually we'll just get y down here. And then on this side, we're going to have negative s e to the negative st differentiating, then positive s squared e to the negative st, and then if we keep going all the way down, after we integrate y n times, we're going to differentiate e to the negative st n times. So that'll give us negative s to the power of n, one for each time we differentiate, times e to the negative st. So once we're done with all of this, we can plug all of this back into the integral that we have here. We're going to multiply these parts all together, and then at the very end, we'll have this final integral. So first of all, we're going to have e to the negative st times the n minus 1 derivative of y at infinity and 0, and then we have this is a minus a minus becomes plus s e to the negative st, and then the n minus 2 derivative of y at infinity and 0. Next, we'd have the n minus 3 derivative of y, and so on, so dot, dot, dot. And then at the very end, we're going to have plus. Well, notice every single one of these things is going to be positive. Here we have a plus, then we have minus minus is a plus. This one's a plus. The next one would be minus minus is a plus. And that's going to keep going the whole time. So our last integral is also going to be positive. We don't have to worry about this negative sign, because it'll cancel with whatever we have over here. So finally, we have the integral from 0 to infinity of y times e to the negative st. And then we have an s to the n, which is a constant that we can bring out to the front. So this is the final expression that we have. We want to evaluate each of these parts that we have. So to start out, if we look at e to the negative st, and then the n minus 1th derivative of y, as t approaches infinity, e to the negative st is going to get really, really, really small going to 0. So we know that this part is going to go to 0 as t approaches infinity. Otherwise, the Laplace transform would not exist. So the next part for the lower bound will be a minus, and then e to the 0 is 1. So we ignore this part, and we get the n minus 1th derivative of y evaluated at 0. So this is when we're plugging in t equals 0. Next, for this part, it's going to be the exact same. As we go to infinity, this is going to go to 0, so we can ignore that. And then we have a minus the um, n minus 2 derivative of y at 0. And then we're multiplying that by s. So we keep doing this, minus dot, 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 dot. And then at the very end, plus s to the n, and then this integral of y e to the negative st, that's the Laplace transform of y. So we'll call that big Y of s. Now all we need to do here is just rewrite this in the way that it's commonly seen in a textbook. We write this starting out with this first term, s to the n big Y of s. And then if we think about what happens as we go down this direction. After s to the n y of s, the next term over here would be a minus s to the n minus 1, because we integrated one less time over here. And then the 0th derivative of y evaluated at 0. So this whole expression is going to be s to the n big y of s minus s to the n minus 1 y of 0. This is t equals 0. And then minus s to the n minus 2 y prime of 0, and then y double prime, and so on, all the way down to s 
y n minus uh, 2 derivative of 0 and minus y the n minus 1 derivative of 0. So this is the Laplace transform of the nth derivative of y with respect to t. And this is definitely an equation worth memorizing because once we have a differential equation like y double prime plus 2y prime plus y, we can just plug in this Laplace transform for the left side. We don't have to do any integrals at all.